Assembling your Cresco 20. If you're using the spreader for fertilizer or seed, slide the summer application into position as shown in the video. Otherwise, if you're using the spreader for winter, slide the winter application into position. Locate and tighten the four screws and washers to fix the required slider into position. Make sure the screws are not overly tight and the slider can slide backward and forward. Locate the lower linkage and place it through the pivot bracket. Push the free end of the lower linkage. Secure the lower linkage in place using the small R pin as shown in the video. When placing the legs on the hopper, make sure the two holes on the side of the lower frame are on the outside. There should be one hole on the inside. Take the two lower frames and attach them to the hopper body using the M6 by 60 bolt. Take the stand and place it into the protruding M6 by 60 bolts. Tighten with the M6 lock nuts. Make sure the arrow on the gearbox faces forwards. The arrow should point away from the stand. Place the gearbox and impeller in the center hole of the hopper body and let it rest there. Feed the axle through the hole without the axle bearing. Push it through the hole in the center of the gearbox and through the hole on the other side. To assemble the wheels, place one axle bearing into the hole shown at the bottom of the lower frame. The axle and gearbox are now in position. There are two holes on the axle. One hole is closer to the middle of the axle and the other hole is closer to the edge of the axle. When assembling the wheels, one wheel will be pinned on the inside of the wheel and the other will be pinned on the outside of the wheel. Push the other axle bearing into position. Attach the other pneumatic wheel. Take the small cotter pin and the wheel washer. Place the wheel washer over the axle and slide the cotter pin into the hole to fix the second wheel. Use the pliers to split the cotter pins on both sides. Flip the spreader onto its wheels and ensure they work correctly. Align the holes at the bottom of the handlebar with the holes at the top of the lower frame. You may need to pull the ends apart slightly to place in position. Thread the M6 by 35 bolt through the hole of the handlebar and lower frame. Use the M6 wing nut to tighten. Repeat the same process on both sides. Protruding from the back of the hopper body is a V-shaped metal pivot bracket. Clip the L-shaped end of the control rod into the hole on the V-shaped pivot bracket. Feed the other end of the control rod through the hole at the back of the control lever. Make sure you push the lever all the way to the bottom. Before tightening the control rod, make sure the application holes in the hopper are fully open and the control lever is set at 20. Tighten the control rod. Affix the agitator pin through the impeller shaft inside the hopper.